Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. All right, Justin Horn, our meteorologist reporting live in Orange, Texas, as Hurricane Laura set to make landfall last night. You got a bit of a surprise. Yeah, the video highlights the dangerous conditions created by the storm. You can track all of Justin's updates right now on KSET.com. He's also giving a look at the damage he's observed throughout the night and throughout this morning. You can find it all on our homepage and in the weather section. By the way, Justin and the photojournalists uh, who was working with him. Some people were worried because of this video. There it is. Um, yeah. Oh. And, ooh, yeah. That was a transformer <laughs> that blew up, and he was nowhere near it, but it looked pretty dramatic. It ended up going nationwide, viral. It's and been all over everywhere. All over everywhere. And we want you to know, Justin and our friend Billy are both okay. They were nowhere near it. One thing I did hear this morning on the radio, they were talking about that, and also Justin grew an inch. He's like 6'5 six, now, 6'6". Six, six, like, wow, <laughs> Jumped out of his skin. <laughs> Anyway. And happy birthday, Justin Horn. Yeah, what a way to spend your birthday. He's, they've been working really hard the past couple of days, so hope he had a hope he had a good birthday. He's going to be in, internet famous. He already is. Very happy to see these little showers popping up west of 35. There will be the opportunity today for a little isolated shower or non-severe storm. Otherwise, just hot heading into the weekend, guys. Thank you, Katie, and thank you for watching the news at noon with us. I didn't see any food. Not just, today. Just fun on SA Live. It starts right now. Hey, today on SA Live, we're cooking fajitas with hardcore carnivore Jess Priles. And taking an end of summer road trip, we share tips on how you can do it safely and efficiently. Plus, an educational show kids can enjoy and learn from. That's all today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSET 12 studios, this is SA Live. Ah, the theater, the popcorn. Hello, happy Thursday, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorshiza, and movie theaters are opening back Movie theaters are opening back up. Yes, here, I'm gonna try and go like this as far. Grab your mic, please, uh, Ursula, and I'll tell you what, there's nothing like the smell of fresh popcorn. Okay, there we so go, much. get that in there. Got it, I got it. Can you hear the me little, now? The little light was on, and it's gonna be anchor one for that one back there in the control room. We'll get that worked out, but the smell of fresh popcorn, the giant silver screen, and the surround sound speakers, of course. Yes. Hear me? It's a perfect spot for date night. Personally, there we go. I love listening to people, like when people tell other people to be quiet. You've heard during me. the movie. Is that you? Is that you going? Shh. Okay. <laughs> because Is that me talking? <laughs> because people don't know how to whisper. Instead of going, I did. So do you think she's going to kill him? You know, it's like, come on. Yes. So. <laughs> so that is you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, there is, uh, I also love, though, the big, I mean, just filling, you know, you got to be about midway and all that. Fill the screen with your vision. And I love that. And the sound. I, oh, the theater. Yeah. So, okay. so we want to know, what do you love about going to a movie theater? Tell us at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter, and you may see your answer a little later in the show. I wonder if anybody will respond and say, that was Mike who shushed me that one day. <laughs> <laughs> then don't talk. <laughs> hey, cheers to a new Elder Eats on a thirsty Thursday. David Elder takes us to a new restaurant in San Antonio, serving up seafood and michelada madness. La Laguna Mariscos and Sushi, also referred to as the House of Micheladas, because they have over 30 different Michelada recipes, and David went for the seafood, but stayed, of course. La Laguna Mariscos and Sushi is a Mexico-based seafood restaurant specializing in massive, over-the-top micheladas. This restaurant is known for micheladas. The biggest drink on the menu, a three-tiered michelada made with 60 ounces of beer. This gigantic drink is made with layers of flavor that have been developed for decades. At only $40, the Michelada Red Volcada is perfect for any celebration, especially since you need three people to order it. 
Each layer of the drink is assembled with cucumbers, shrimp, jicama, chamoy, tahin powder, spicy scorpion Tabasco, and so many more spices that they wouldn't even tell me. It's for three people to share. Not, I haven't seen anybody finish it yet. <laughs> um, and if they do, then that's a fun night for them. <laughs> My favorite drink on the menu, the mango chilada. A large mango gets cut into squares and the drink is covered in sour candies, chamoy, and comes with your choice of beer. This one has mango on there, you have mango slices, and then it has a little bit of the chamoy, some tahini that's on there as well. I mean, the tamarindo straw, right? This is, this is what's up. And then you can pick your beer that goes in there. This one has Modelo in it. I'm gonna give it a little sip. Oh, Cause it's all about the mixture that's in there. <laughs> That's sweet. Like really, it has a really sweet flavor to it. This tastes like liquid candy. Y'all, they're crazy out here. They're making all kinds of good stuff. All right, I'm gonna give it another sip, just to make sure. And uh, it has a lot of sweet flavor in it, but then the beer comes in and it gives a little bit of that sparkling flavor to it as well. This is phenomenal. I mean, they got, they're like mad scientists back there behind the bar making all these different flavors. My gosh. Heard from a couple of people, uh, friends of mine that is a spot to come check out. Got some good drinks, so let's find out what we got. There you go. Also on the menu, shrimp tacos, bacon shrimp skewers, shrimp cocktail, and of course, sushi. It's in the name, so you know they're serving it up out here. It's all about sushi, right? This is the campuchano roll. You have a little bit of salmon, a little bit of octopus and shrimp on top, cream cheese, avocado, and it's rolled up. And it's really nice. I mean, there's great presentation. A little bit of ginger on the side as well. A little bit of wild, like a little mixture of rice right there. And then you got this little bed of like Kanikama crab right there. I love Kanikama crab. This is the good stuff, right? But I'm gonna get a bite here. That looks awesome. <laughs> That's the perfect bite. A little bit of everything. A little bit of peel sauce that's on top of this roll as well. It's a little bit sweet, it's a little savory, right? A little bit of that umami flavor that you want just kind of sticks to your tongue. The avocado, the cream cheese, extremely creamy. And they're rolled really tight and they're ice cold. That's what you want. You want cold, nice and rolled tight sushi. And you got the octopus and the shrimp that's in big chunks in there on the top. It's really good, y'all. This is what sushi should be. They're doing it all out here. The food is solid, the atmosphere is fun with tons of TVs to catch your favorite sporting events when they're going on. And the drinks are some of the most unique combinations you'll find in Texas. My parents, whenever I told them that I was coming to work here, they were like really excited because we finally have one in San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> to get more pictures, videos, and information on restaurants around Texas, just follow me on Instagram at Elder Eats. Keep eating San Antonio and for SA Live, I'm David Elder. Is that what? one? Wow, look at that. That's a mountain. Oh, what? Okay. That's our Everest. I love, no kidding. <laughs> I never, I would never think of Micheladas and sushi right? combined, but hey, right? what the heck? Right. Sounds good to me. For more information on La Laguna Mariscos and Sushi, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link. Oh, wow. I don't want to move that picture. Anyway, hey, Labor Day is on the way, and of course, many families are still trying to enjoy the last little bits of summer best they can before the unofficial fall hits. If you have a family road trip plan, then we have some great ideas from Adina Anderson that will make your trip a little more fun and easy. Adina here with Creative Lifestyles with Adina. Are you getting ready to hit the road? There is a lot of road tripping going on this summer and there's some fun and safe ways to do it. So I'm gonna start with something to keep the kids busy on the road because you know what they're gonna do. I'm bored, I'm hungry. So this is a really fun one and check this out. It's all connected. So when they take it in the car, you're, they're not gonna lose the pieces. And this is that little fish game. So make sure you have a notebook for the kids because they can draw, they can color, they can do all kinds of things. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna sit all these little fishies on here. And then you make a little pole with just a popsicle stick and some yarn. And these are magnets I picked up at the craft store. You can do curbside or however you wanna do it. And then they can fish, look, and then they can put them onto the thing and they stay there. So to create this, all I did was take some, this is just hard felt, and I cut out these little fish little styles here and then you just take some 
this is just regular craft glue. You could use hot glue if you want, however you want to do it. And just put a little bit of that on there. And we, I don't know where our magnets went because let me tell you, these may look, it's already stuck. <laughs> these are some strong magnets. And just take your magnet, glue that right onto the fish and then you stick it there to dry. Let it dry probably an hour at least, if not just overnight. And another thing, same thing, same kind of concept is you take some felt and make these little circles in these X's. And then I drew a tic-tac-toe with just regular paint. What's cool about this is when you're done, you can scrape that off and reuse your cookie sheet. Just wash it and you're good because it's a water base. And then this is a dry erase marker so they could write their name, they could write, maybe you want them to be quiet, have them play the quiet game so they could write notes to each other, however you want to do it. And I put a magnet on there too, and boom, it sticks. So they can play tic-tac-toe, fish, just keep them busy in the car. Another thing you want to do is you want to keep them fed in the car, right? And <laughs> I know when my kid was traveling, I'm hungry, I want a snack. Well, you don't want to have to stop a, a hundred times when you're out on the road, you want to get to where you're going. So I just created this little, this is a tackle box or like a craft box. And I put all of my favorite snacks in here. I've got goldfish, I've got Oreos, Fruit Loops, I've got some little gluten-free things in here, some Starburst because these don't melt in these hot temperatures, some little fruit things. This is just something to keep the, I think this would like feed me for dinner here. It's a lot of stuff, but that's the fun part. Let the kids pick out the snacks so that they're going to want to eat this. And another thing, we want to talk about safety because we're out on the road, right? We want to stay safe. A lot of places they have the mask rules, so you want to wear your mask. And there's so many different kinds of masks. I got this online. And then, oh gosh, who doesn't love our Whataburger? <laughs> they have a, these on the Whataburger store. And we all know about the mask smell, right? So this is a great product. And it's also, a, it's like hand sanitizer for your nose. It's nose and nasal sanitizer antiseptic. It's the long name, but it is a great product. It's got, it kills 99.99% .99 of the germs. It's like I said, hand sanitizer for your nose. It works up to 12 hours. You can get it on nosen.com. What I love about it is the orange smell and the application. It's so easy. You just take the Q-tips, you pour the product onto the Q-tips, you rub it around your nose, and it lasts for up to 12 hours. It's great, and it hides the mask smell, so that's a great thing too. But just get a fanny pack. Look, here's a handmade mask. Everybody's making these, selling them online. But you wanna have a lot of things that are gonna keep you safe. I always carry gloves because you have to stop and get gas. You don't know if they've cleaned the gas pump, so just throw the glove away into the trash can when you're done getting the gas. Make sure you have your sunscreen and hand sanitizer. And you can see I even put some snacks in there just in case. It's just you wanna stay safe while you're out on the road. There's so many things check out my blog I have a lot more on there especially if you're gonna do some pet travel there's some things you need to know about that as well remember you guys you can find me on creativelifestyles.tv on all the social media at Adina Anderson thanks for having me on safe happy road trips to all you guys have a great day thanks guys bye I love <laughs> Uh -huh. the, the little dividey box things to put snacks in. Dividey box, totally. I think you can find it under that. Dividey <laughs> box. <laughs> For more information on Adina Anderson and her great ideas, just head to essaylive.com and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. All right, later on in the show, we drool over mouth-watering fajitas. Recipe from hardcore carnivore Jess Prilas. Trials, pardon me. And we check out a fun show for kids that will educate them while they watch. That's next on SA Live. Show is an award-winning YouTube animated series designed to help elementary age girls think critically about everyday problems and create innovative solutions. Global Tinker producer Olivia Levinson joins us to tell us all about the Paper Girls mission and how it's to level the playing field, right? Good afternoon. Hi, Fiona. Thank you so much for having me here today. I'm so happy to be here. Well, this is very exciting, especially for girls. And this series inspires young girls to have confidence in their intellectual capabilities and so much more, right? Studies show that girls as young as the age of six start losing their confidence in STEM related fields. So the purpose behind the Paper Girls show really is to encourage them in these fields through making and problem solving and play. And studies also show that just the act of making things and designing and tinkering automatically boosts children's confidence across the board. So it's really important to us. 
Tell us a little bit about the characters in the show and the setup for those who aren't familiar. Absolutely. So the show is about two best friends, Kaylee and Reese. They are super diverse and fun. They love fashion, but more than that, they love problem solving and making and technology. They love STEM. So it's about these two best friends who actually travel into a magical paper world to look for and solve problems in their real world lives. So the paper world, the reason why they travel to a paper world is because paper itself is so accessible. Kids from New York to Nairobi can access it and they can participate in these really fun maker challenges. So every single episode is actually connected to a DIY maker project from STEM to origami and paper craft. Tell us about the three main characteristics that kind of sets the Paper Girl show apart from others. First of all, I mean, girls in STEM is a huge thing, although I think media is working on it. I think there's still a huge gap in the market and just showing more girls on the screen making things and solving problems. Uh, I think what also sets our show apart is that paper, paper crafts, you know, everybody can participate by using paper. So what we're trying to do with the show is showing that it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to take a step back, relax and grow and learn from your mistakes. So one thing I noticed about these episodes is they're not that long. They're only six minutes. Tell me about the, you know, kind of that total time and what that purpose is for. The episodes are six minutes. They're short form by design because ultimately our goal is to get kids off the screen and make and solve problems in the real world. So what we're really hoping is that six minutes of screen time encourages 60 minutes of real world play, real world making and problem solving. Tell me about the dialogue in each episode because I noticed that kind of stepped up a notch too. Part of our show is taking it a little bit slower and not undermining children's intelligence. You know, there's so many TV shows that are like crazy, action-packed, and what we're trying to do, especially with the dialogue, is bumping it up a notch, making it a little bit more sophisticated and not undermining children's innate intelligence to understand these things. If little girls are watching right now, what would you like them to know about the show? What else? There's no reason why girls shouldn't be exploring STEM and all of these fields that Society has made it seem like boys can do it more. So for us, I just want girls to be able to walk away from this and really just know that STEM is just as cool as fashion. All right, Olivia Levinson, tell folks where they can find more information on The Paper Girls Show. You can visit our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash The Paper Girls Show, or you can visit our website at papergirls.com. All right, Olivia, once again, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. That's pretty cool. Hey, still ahead, we're chopping things up with some delicious, oh, those look so good, delicious fajitas. And next on SA Live, how to get the quick care you need during these unprecedented times. Now through 7 o'clock tonight, United Healthcare and WellMed are answering your questions about Medicare. They've set up a helpline. Just call the number on your screen. WellMed cares about making it easier and safer for you to get the care you need. And joining us now is Dr. Joshua Beck with WellMed on Northwest Loop 410. Good afternoon. Hi, how are you? Dr. Beck, tell us why it's important for folks to continue seeing their doctors right now. Well, it's important so that you're not delaying care, especially if you have uh, conditions like diabetes, heart failure, high blood pressure, kidney disease, cancer. You don't want to delay your care. You want to come in for your routine screenings. Uh, also for vaccinations, we'll be doing flu shots starting next month. And so you really just want to come in and not delay your care so that it does not get worse. I know that a reason folks might be delaying their care is they have a concern about kind of venturing out and going to doctor's offices and clinics. How is WellMed protecting patients in their clinics? Yeah, so uh, we have uh, several modalities. We're um, allowing patients to come in and do a curbside visit where their primary care provider will go out to the car and see them or see them through a tablet, through a video. We're also doing uh, video consults or video calls through a tablet, smartphone, or desktop. And then we also can deliver a sanitized tablet to somebody's home and uh, see a patient through the video that way. So those are a, couple, you know, a few other options. 
Now you mentioned those other options, which are other ways well-med patients can receive care. Are there any others? Uh, they can also come into the clinic and be seen by us as well. All right, Dr. Joshua Beck, the Medicare helpline provided by WellMed and United Healthcare runs now through seven o'clock tonight. Licensed Medicare agents are standing by to take your call. All you have to do is dial the number on your screen, which is 210-622-8415. Dr. Beck, thank you so much and stay safe. Thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, we can smell all that delicious fajita mm. meat cooking already. We serve up a fresh fajita recipe. That's next. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, when it comes to Texas barbecue, Jess Pryles has you covered. She's been featured on the Food Network and has more than 100,000 followers on Instagram. Australian by birth, Texan by choice, her cookbook Hardcore Carnivore is protein packed with over 100 recipes. And today she shares her take on fajitas. Today we're grilling up one of my favorites, beef fajitas. Hey, it's Jess with Hardcore Carnivore here in Austin, Texas, and today I'm cooking up grilled beef fajitas. They're one of my favorite items to order in a Mexican restaurant, and it's pretty cool when that sizzling platter makes its way to your table. The thing is, that platter doesn't do too much to add flavor to the meat, but the grill does. I'm gonna cook the meat separately, and then I've got a little trick up my sleeve for those onions and peppers. Let's go. I'm using outside skirt today. It's a little bit harder to get than inside skirt, but it's definitely more tender. I'm seasoning the meat with hardcore carnivore michelada. It's a chili lime rub, and I pretty much use it for any Tex-Mex style recipe. It's time to put the steaks on the grill. I use the JKF method, just keep flipping. I flip the steaks every 30 seconds over high heat so they get a great char but stay nice and moist in the middle. So thin steaks like this will take around five to seven minutes total. Okay, the steaks are off. I'm gonna rest them under foil for about 10 minutes. But one of my favorite parts about fajitas are those charred peppers and onions. The thing is, it's super hard to do them on a grill because obviously they just fall through the grates. The answer, is to use a grill pan like this. This one's from Maiden, they're actually a local Austin company. And the cool thing about this, it's made from carbon steel. So not only do you get the flames and the coals come through the holes, but the actual metal heats up so you get char from that as well. I'm gonna be using white onions and poblano peppers today because I love the flavor. So let's heat this baby up and get char in. Now I just need to warm up some flour tortillas, slice the meat against the grain, and it's fajita time. So now just combine the meat, the onions, the peppers, and the tortilla, and build yourself a bite of grilled beef fajita. So there you have it. You can do grilled fajitas without sacrificing your onions and peppers to the grill. All you need is the right equipment. Salute. Well. And those, we were just talking, mm -hmm. you need one for the, your husband, yeah. and I, yeah. I always think I, about there those There it is, things. right there. Yeah. I need that pan with the holes in it. Because the onions and you know whatever it is on the totally. grill is going to fall right through. And I love the idea how she did 30 seconds and just flip it every 30 seconds. Keeps it nice and moist in the middle. Hey, for more information on this recipe and Jess Pryles, head to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Five cool things. We found this week from classic grilling favorites to those over the top fried foods, we want to share five finds that we came across this week. We start with the state fair. Yes, there will be a drive through for fair food starting in September. Normally the fair welcomes about 2.5 million people over the 24 day run. This year, they'll allow up to 10,000 cars. Attendees can then drive to a designated parking lot and enjoy their food in their cars or as a picnic, keeping social distancing between groups. And the iconic Big Techs will be wearing a mask too. 
Why not? Hey, several theaters are opening back up starting today here in San Antonio. You can reserve your seats and tickets as many are going to be limited to about 40% capacity. Some of the ones opening include AMC Bernie 11 and River Center Alamo Draft House Stone Oak, the Palladium. Some theaters are offering $5 flicks and we have a full article on KSAT.com and shh, shh. <laughs> Yes, if you hear that in the theater, that's Mike. <laughs> Calling all parents who are helping with virtual learning today. Our photographer Shed shared an app that can help you find the best spot in your house for that Wi-Fi signal. Cloud Check is a free app that can test your signal. It's pretty simple to do. Yeah, this is how you find that white whale. <laughs> okay, so I, yeah, it, it was free and open it up. And I'm on, um, not on the Wi-Fi, but just on, uh, on cell and start the test. Come on. I did it earlier. You know. There we go. Oh, here Start, we go. So it's doing a speed test on how my uh, cell signal is right now. And it will take a second, but uh, it was pretty good. I did it earlier in the, uh, in the wow. office do, there. Do, so. you, do you never drop your phone? That's one good looking screen there. I'm just saying. I actually had to get a new screen protector. <laughs> did you? Yes, just because it was kind of scratched up and stuff <laughs> like that. So, hey, I got uh, 43. Oh, I'm very good right now. So I passed. Yay. Yeah, and that's called cloud check. I love that. Yeah. You're always walking around your house wondering, where is it? Yeah, exactly. And nowadays, when everybody's using all the Wi-Fi networks and everything in your house, so, and that works for, obviously, Wi-Fi and the, uh, the cell network. So, hey, beer slushies yeah. are a new thing. They're popping up on menus across the country. Now, normally, you may think of, you know, the fruity rum or vodka-based boozy slushies, but many breweries are offsetting the money they've lost with these refreshing brewski batches. And our SA Live page at KSAT.com, we've added a make your own beer slushy recipe. Boozy slushies. I, I guess, well, that's one way. It'll always be cold. Right? Yeah. So that's good. I don't know. I would have to taste it before I, I passed. I mean, I know. I don't even like sticking a lime down in a beer or anything like that. Mm. Just give me a good bottle of beer. So. <laughs> All right, earlier this week, all right, you and Jen talked about celebrities who mm -hmm. do wine. Well, did you know there's a Metallica whiskey? All you diehard Metallica fans, each batch has its own playlist selected and arranged oh, wow. by the band members themselves. It's called Blackened American Whiskey, the tagline, forged by sound. <laughs> As the aged whiskey rests in the finishing barrels, the music play oh really plays causing the, uh, causing the whiskey to move and interact what? with the wood what? and the movement depends on the song being played. So the variation of the music creates slight nuance from one batch to the next. That makes wow. I guess that makes sense. That's so cool. Huh. <laughs> what artist would you like your whiskey finishing to? I'll say Kiss. Really? <laughs> Why not? I never, I never would have thought that. I never thought you'd pick Kiss. I don't know. I, I just think about that. It's one of the very first concerts I ever saw when I was in high school, way, way back when. So. All right. Well, yeah. speaking of Metallica, they're on the big screen at the drive through at Fiesta Texas this Saturday at 8.30 p.m. for a concert specially recorded to play at hundreds of drive-ins across America. Ticket information and digital download info for their new album is available on our website, salive.com. Just click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Hey, if you find a cool thing around town, send it our way. We want to know about it. We may be able to uh, share it with, the, with all the folks out there. So, hey, still ahead, how you can get that perfect smile you have always wanted. And where you can get local, healthy food in San Antonio. That's next on SA Live. Well, are you looking for healthy and tasty dining options in San Antonio? Metro Health's Por Vida program and Culinaria are highlighting seven spots in San Antonio where you can get delicious meals that are also good for you. Joining us now to tell us more is Arisa Larios, registered dietitian with Metro Health. Good afternoon. Hi, Mike. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Good. Okay, so tell us all about the Por Vida program. Well, the Porvita program is a healthy dining program under Metro Health that gets the opportunity to work with restaurants and businesses to really highlight their healthy menu items so that we can share that with the community and encourage the community to dine at these establishments. Okay, so what do you hope to accomplish by highlighting all these healthy restaurants other than having people go to them? Definitely encourage the community to dine at these places and really take away that stigma of healthy as being boring and bland. And um, if you dine at some of our partners, you'll get the opportunity to see these very unique 
tasty, delicious dishes that, you know, hopefully inspires you to eat healthy when you dine out and maybe inspire you to cook healthy at home. Well, also joining us today is Morgan Maida from one of those healthy restaurants. Time for lunch. Good afternoon. How are you? Good. Good. Okay. So tell us about your restaurant and why it's important for you to offer healthy food on your menu. So our restaurant, Time for Lunch, serves a versatile menu of healthy eating from breakfast to lunchtime favorites like Buddha bowls, sandwiches, salads. Um, my goal for my restaurant was always to have a place where everybody could find something keto, vegan, um, you know, gluten free options. Okay, so what are the ways is Time for Lunch investing in the health of the community? So we, we always believe in um, giving back to the community. We've partnered with a food bank, we've partnered with Mealshare um, to provide healthy meals for children. Um, we, we gave in April, we did meals for workers on the front lines where you buy one and get one free. Um, so we really try to promote getting out in the community and offering you know, healthy options. Okay, obviously a lot of local local restaurants, especially were really hit hard. What ways did you um, kind of have to get creative to get folks to come back besides offering all sorts of different types of food? We did online groceries, we did family meals, we did, um, I was making marinades and sauces for people to take home with recipe cards. Um, we still offer that. You know, curbside, we have um, dine-in now, we're back open. You know, we just adjusted all the ways we can adjust. <laughs> Okay. Well, it's been it's been tough, but hopefully everybody's uh, doing well with it. If you would like more information on the Poor Vita program and the seven healthy restaurants highlighted by Metro Health and Culinaria, visit PoorVitaSA.com or give them a call at 210-207-2722. Ladies, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Why is it important to have that good smile? Well, you know, the smile is a very important part of everyone in their lives. You know, people that smile look happier, healthier, younger, smarter. And there's a lot of people that stop smiling because their teeth don't look very good, or they have cavities or gum disease, or they're missing a few, or they don't have any teeth. So when they stop smiling, you know, everything changes around them. They hold back, their self-esteem goes down, they don't want to go to places, and it really changes somebody's life. I want everyone to know that there's a lot of things that can be done. People don't have to live their lives hoping mm -hmm. and suffering. You know, we can help, and there's a million things that they can do in dentistry nowadays to get the smile they want. Well, I feel like we even take that for granted just to be able to mm -hmm. smile. So this full mouth reconstruction is what you are specializing in. So tell me a little bit about That's that. That's correct. Mm -hmm. You know, I specialize in seeing those people that, that have no hope, that they mm -hmm. have been hurt, you know, no, nothing can be done for you. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we, we replace their teeth with dental implants. It can be done in a very effective, predictable way. Mm -hmm. Patients come to our office, we have a lot of good technology, they get sedated, so you know they're sleeping, and by the end of the day, they wake up and they have a beautiful smile because it's like having a blank canvas. Yes. You know, we redesign every tooth, the size, the position, the alignment, so mm -hmm. it's, it's like recreating somebody's life again, and, and the stories we have are amazing. Well, you have a photo here that we can see, and you can tell me a little bit about that, so here's the That's photo. correct, that's mm -hmm. a great example of one of our patients that if you can see the teeth are extremely worn down so there's really nothing left to do there there's nothing to fix and we replace his teeth with dental implants now he can he can eat he can smile and he has a wonderful self-esteem and this other lady believe it or not I mean she's biting down but her bite was was really you know uh, troubled and and look at what we did with wow. the replacement of her teeth with dental implants so can you imagine how she is right now Amazing. amazing. Wow. And you have your lovely wife who That's helps right. with this transformation. Yesenia, Mike is over there with her to talk about how they get this all done. Wow. Right. So it, this is more than just uh, false teeth because you have to really personalize these, right? Yes, correct. Smiles are very unique and this is why we custom design every smile we create for our patients to perfectly complement their facial features, their age, gender, and also their personality. Um, with this information and also the help of amazing technology, which is um, phase 3D scans, 
we design and create the smiles. But it's not as though that information is being sent off to some lab somewhere. No. You are doing, you're basically we holding do, their hand through the whole thing, right? We do everything in house. We also hand paint the smiles mm -hmm. to achieve a more beautiful and unique look. What's the feeling that you get when somebody that has not had good teeth or any teeth at all, all of a sudden they have that smile, that, that smile's back, their life's back to them? It is very re rewarding because not only you're changing their smile, you're changing their, their entire life. And it, it is very important that both um, the art and the science come together so you can have a balanced harmony and a beautiful natural smile that is gonna give you the perfect picture look, uh, which is a confidence okay. and a beautiful smile with Wonderful. with health and beauty. Thank you, Yusani. And you've got a, a very good special going on right now. The first 20 people to call are going to be getting a free consultation valued at $350. Just call Stone Ridge Dental at 210-610-5479. That's 210-610-5479. And for more information on Dr. Menaris, visit his website, drmenaris.com. Thank you both very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. All right, tomorrow on SA Live, it could be the best reason ever to eat a cookie. How you can help a local bakery save young lives and the touching story that inspired them. That and more, of course, tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. Now through 7 o'clock tonight, United Healthcare and WellMed are answering your questions about Medicare. They've set up a helpline. All you have to do is call the number on your screen. While the Medicare enrollment period has ended, there are ways people with Medicare can change their plans during the year without waiting for the annual enrollment period. Here to tell us more is Eric Cervera, Agent Manager with United Healthcare. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, Eric, how can people change their plans during the year without waiting for the annual enrollment period? Well, there's a couple of different factors that come into play. You can, if you have moved within to a different county, uh, if you have a chronic condition such as diabetes or a chronic heart failure, or if you are qualified for Medicare and Medicaid or are low income, or if you're turning 65, or if you want to enroll in a United Healthcare uh, plan, uh, our plans are rated as five stars in the San Antonio area, which means they have the highest uh, rating with Medicare and Medicaid, which means that you can enroll in a United Healthcare plan at any point in the year. So why would they want to switch? So for, principally, if you have a chronic condition like diabetes, there are plans that are specifically tailored and designed for people with conditions like diabetes or chronic heart failure. And there's also plans that specifically designed for people that have Medicare or Medicaid or have a very low income. There's plans specifically made for them. So if you're not in one of those plans, you should you can consider enrolling one of those plans uh, as well. Or if you're simply not happy with the current coverage you're getting, you know, United Healthcare does have a five star plan, which you can enroll. And again, it's a highest rating that Medicare gives on a Medicare Advantage plan. All right. Well, the Medicare helpline provided by WellMed and United Healthcare runs now through seven o'clock tonight. Licensed Medicare agents are standing by to take your call. All you have to do is call that number on your screen, 210-622-8415. Eric, thank you so much for your time and stay safe. Thank you. You as well. All right, earlier we asked you, now that some movie theaters are back open, what do you love the most about seeing a movie in the theater? The Lazy Boy seats, cheesy nachos, white cherry icy, buttered popcorn, Ooh. yummy, it's a movie. It's fun to be I there. Go to a movie with Lisa. Yeah, ah. as long as she's buying all that stuff too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>